pags ang ayon ko sa kanya. Do not be clingy in public or even in private. You have to ask for permission before doing so. I almost rolled my eyes. Hindi ko kalain ganito siya kalala. He was making me feel like he was very above me and all I need to do was to submit to him. You have to follow everything I would say without complaining. I am only your fake wife. I reminded him. Bakit bawat kilos ko kailangan may approval mo? Because I am your boss to Miss Visconde? He said like a businessman trying to persuade his point. Narinig ko pa lang pero mukhang hindi ko nakakayanin to. I am used to get what I wanted all the time. Hindi ako sanay na maging sunod-sunuran lang. Gusto ko na mag-walk out pero biglang pumasok sa isip ko ang pamilya ko. Yes, I need to do this for them. Ilang taon din naman naging maganda ang buhay ko. Sabi na nga ba may kabalit ang lahat ng yun. Okay, Mr. Sevilla, nangihin ang sagot ko. This man, minsan masungit, minsan maloko. If he was not charming, I would never agree to this. But you still have everywhere to stop this arrangement. Kahit may pinalmahan ako, pwede ko pa rin hinto kapag ayaw ko na. Why can't you? This arrangement should be mutual. I don't like forcing things, Moira. You tell me to stop, I'll end it. It's as simple as that. And then, yung utang namin sa'yo, paano mo mabayaran? I will talk to your dad and then risk. You'll be putting to your family. He brushed the hair on my face and tucked it behind my ears. You are such a manipulative person, Brayden. Bulong ko na hindi inalis ang tingin sa mata niya. His lips twitch. What did you call me? Brayden. Ulit ko. Wala sa ulirat ang isip ko. I am the boss and you're calling me what? Oh, he was never backing down. You can call me Sir or Mr. Sevilla all the time unless I tell you so call me by my name. Paano kapag nakalimutan ko? His eyes darkened. Then you have to face the consequence of that action. Consequence? Nagugulo ang talong ko. Like a punishment, Moira. As in, parang bata lang? Eh ano naman kaya naisipan yung punishment? Papaluin sa pwit? Gamit ang tambo o tingting? Bigla ko natawa sa naisip ko. Is there anything funny, Moira? Talong niya na makalayo. May kinuha siyang papel. Napalunok ako. Wala po, sir. One of these days, you will know about it. But for now, read and sign this. You can leave it on your desk once you're done. Now go to your room. He dismissed like a boss that he was. Ibinigay niya sa akin yung papel. Thank you, sir. I told him again, exaggerating the word, sir. But he turned around and did not answer me. Napaka-moody. Kanin lang parang sa nisisidus. Tapos ngayon, wala na yung paki niya. I crossed my arms. Lalabas na po ako, Mr. Sevilla. Napasa na lang ako sa pinto. I hope this will be all worth it in the end. Hindi ako sigurado pero sana may magandang dulot na kalabasan. Hindi ko rin kasi alam kung bakit ako napili niya. He was a billionaire and also CEO of Sevilla's Corporation. Why would he have to do this arranged marriage with me? Ang daming mas maganda sa akin. I breathed heavily, feeling overwhelmed all at once, showing my thoughts away. Good night, Mr. Livesey Sevilla. I whispered one more time. When I gathered my strength and returned my senses, I made my way to my room. Sabi ng abay, paulit-ulit ko naman tinatanong sarili ko kung ito na lang ba talaga ang solusyon sa problema ko. Arranged marriage to my boss? For real? This is an arrangement of occurrence a proof that Moira Claire Visconde is agreeing to undertake himself to Brayden Ali Sevilla within 36 weeks validity of this agreement. She shall not have any romantic relationship with men nor do what she wants without any consent of Brayden Ali Sevilla. She must perform the habitual activity of a normal housewife to her husband boss when Brayden Ali Sevilla requested for it. She must oblige, not argue, and submit herself unless there are unsafe circumstances. If she violates any of this agreement, the contract will be void automatically. Hence, she fully performs her duty within 36 weeks. Her family's debt will be fully paid. Agreed by Brayden Ali Sevilla, Moira Claire Visconde. Weeks had passed. Nairaos ko pakikisama sa kanya. Hindi naman ako nahirapan na laging late umuwi si Mr. Sevilla. Kagagaling niya rin kasi sa out-of-town meeting kaya halos hindi na kami nakikita. I somehow miss talking with him. Ganun pala kapag nakatira ka sa isang malaking bahay. You could have anything you wanted but still feel lonely. Hoy ate! Natatarantang sigaw sa akin ni Renan. Nakakaloka. Bakit ka na naman pinapatawag sa itaas? Para nagliwanag ang mood ko dahil sa pagkatapos sa ilang linggo, magkikita ulit kami ni Mr. Sevilla. Tumingin ako sa itaas para magpatawa dahil natatens kagad si Renan sa pagpapatawag sa akin. At nakuha mo pang magbiro ha? Ewan ko lang kung makapagbiro ka pa niyan kapag nakarap mo na si Mr. Moody Monster, Boss Sevilla. Sige ka. Kababalik lang nung tao galing ibang bakasyon? Yes. Hindi niya pa rin alam na kinasala ko kay Mr. Sevilla. Ayoko magdesisyon na walang approval niya. How bad is it? Nagtatakang tanong ko. 
Ate, halos na itong pinapatawag niya yun, tsugi na sa trabaho. Ayon, ang dami umiiyak sa itaas. Kaya go na, baka susunod ka na. Tinulak pa ako ng loka. Hindi ko alam kung saan ako kukuha ng pang-tutwensyon ng anak ko ngayon. Mga ang anak ang asawa ko. Na-hold up pa ako kagabi. Bakit naman ganito, Mamira? Magpapas ka pa man din. Hindi ko man lang may paghahanda mga magulang ko. I was stunned. Dahil totoo nga ang chismis. Mukhang malala ang topak ng boss namin ngayon. Lahat yata naman ay nakikita niya. Hindi ko mapigil ang maawa sa kanila pero wala naman ako magagawa. Eh takasunod lang din naman ako eh. He is asking for Mira o Mira? I told her assistant. She just raised her brow and continued talking to his employees. I made my way to his glass door. Kumatok muna ako bago pumasok. Sakta naman may babaeng papalabas. Get out, sas. I don't want to see you here. I cleared my throat. Uh, sir? You do. Get out. Hindi mo lang niya ako nilingon pero pinapalabas na niya ako agad. Eh, ang gulod na ng lalaking to pa minsan-minsan eh. I shut the door behind me and did not bother to move. I said, get the fuck. Natigilan siya na magkasalubong ang mga mata namin. Oh, how I'd miss his face. Saglit lang yun. He looked down and stared reading again. Shutting his emotions. Sit, Moira. He ordered without looking. Now what, sir? I asked after a few seconds. They are coming, he casually said. Still eyes on the paper. Huh? I said they are coming. Are you that slow? He snapped. I was offended. Ngayon niya lang ako kinausap ng ganito. Why was he stressing so badly? Ano ba talagang meron? Hello? Wala naman akong ideya kung sino yung sinasabi mo. Hindi po ako si Madam Auring para manghula. I lowered down my voice when he looked at me. Sir? Shit. Ano nangyari sa mabig ko? Nauna na naman kaysa ng utak ko. Tinaasan ako ng Mr. Sevilla ng kilay. Are you raising your voice at me? Ipinatatahi ko na yung bahibig ko sa mga bukas. Ah, uh, absolutely not, sir. I'm just explaining my point. Medyo nabingin kasi ito noong nakarang araw. You want me to believe that, Miss Visconde? Ah, uh, sorry, sir. Hindi na po mauulit. Pagpapakumbaba ko. He placed the paper down and stood up. He went to my bag. Gosh, I could smell his perfume. Ipinatong niyang kamay niya sa kabilang side ng inuupuan ko. He lowered down his face to my ear. Halos magsitayuan ang balahibo ko sa ginagawa niya. You are forgetting who I am, Moira. What am I to you? He whispered to my ear. My body stiffed, trying to focus. My boss, sir, and also my husband. But you are in my office. Basically, I'm your boss. What? I answered quietly. Sa sobrang lapit ng bibig niya sa tenga ko, baka namdum ko hinahalik ka na niya to. I bit my lip harder. What you did is against my rules, Mrs. Sevilla. Mas nalang bumalis ang tibok ng puso ko. It was the first time that he called me that and even recognized me as his wife. I didn't know, sir. I'm really sorry. I am just trying to reason out. Nadala din siguro ako na emosyon ko dahil ilang araw din tayo hindi nagkita. Miss me? He asked. Napalingon ako sa gilid ko at nagsalubong ang mga mukha namin. It was so close that one wrong move, we could literally kiss. I was having a hard time breathing already. One lie is equivalent to one punishment. He threatened. That's my rule. Now close your eyes and answer me. Did you miss me, Mrs. Sevilla? Nag-init ang pisngi ko sa boses niya at sa tanong niya. Plus, he called me Mrs. Sevilla again. Yes, sir, I do. Bulong ko. As I've missed you. He suddenly grabbed my hair and slowly curled it onto his hand like a rope. I was out of breath already. Ramdam na ramdam ko ang hangin binubuga niya. I felt like I'm about to pass out. Hindi ako sanay sa ganito, lalo na sa kanya pa nang galing. We have to practice acting like this in front of my family, Mrs. Sevilla. You have to get to used to it. Tila ba nabingi ako sa sobrang kabog ng dibdib ko? Before I even knew it, he was in front of me. Napadilat ako. He lowered himself so I could look into his eyes. And we can be like this when my sister is watching. Do you agree? He packed a kiss on my neck. Because she is the most annoying person in my family, she will notice when someone's doing this for a show. Sobrang bilis na reaksyon ng katawan ko. I could feel the adrenaline rush throughout my body. Mr. Sevilla, my voice almost begging. We have to be as synchronized as possible. Do not decide for yourself because everything you do will reflect me. I own you, Moira. Do not forget about that. Never, sir. Bumitaw ang kamay niya sa buho ko at hinila ko patayo. I gathered my strength not to shake. Dahil walang nakas sa mga duhod ko sa ginagawa niya. Now, if I tell you to close your eyes again, close it. If I tell you not to move, don't. I was slowly being hypnotized with his words. Kaya kahit ayokong gawin yung sinasabi niya, automatic kong sumarang mata ko. I wonder if you're thinking of me this past few weeks we're not together. Sabi nito, 
And you still smell as good as ever, huh? I am. Pero wala naman ako magagawa but to wait for you and your command. Bigla ako napalunok sa naramdaman ko. His voice was so close to my ears again. He was almost kissing my ear, seducing me to give in. Ano ba, Mr. Sevilla? Bakit bigla ka naman gumaganyan? Ilang linggo lang kami hindi nakita pero bakit biglang nagbago ang pakikitungo niya sa akin? Naamoy ko naman yung hininga niya. Damn, it smelled like fresh mint. Kung hahalikan niya ako, I definitely go for it without a doubt. Ilang gabi ko siya napapalinginipan at iniisip. I would not mind turning that dream into reality. May pumalupot na naman ng mga kamay sa bewang ko. His body pushed me on his desk. Kaya't napupo ako doon. Still eyes closed. His lips made way on my jawline. He was breathing heavily while doing it. I opened my mouth and I felt his soft lips against mine. It was my first time tasting him. He was so gentle and calm, giving me a time to respond. When I did, I could feel him smiling. He snaked his hand on my waist and pulled me closer to him. Hindi tong first kiss ko pero para ko na nga pa dahil siya ang kahaligan ko. I tried to follow his teeth and match his energy. It was like we were both hungry for it and as if wanted many years for this to happen. Hindi ko na napigilan ang kamay kong humawak sa leg niya. But he stopped the moment I pulled him closer. You're not a good follower, Moira, he told me, still forehead against mine. Paano man nagagawang kontrol ng sarili mo na para lang sa rules at pride mo? Hinihingal na tanong ko. Tons of practice made me master it, he said. You have to be a good follower in order to get what you want, Moira, tumawa ko. Hindi ko alam kung bakit kailangan sundin kung ano talaga yung gusto mo. Sometimes in life we have to go for it even if it turns out to be something that we imagined. Lumayo ng konti si Mr. Sevilla. But not for me. It won't work for me. I know exactly what I want so I don't settle for less. Either you change yourself for me or I will leave you there. Humawak ako sa dulo ng desk. Gaya ng pagtanggal mo sa mga empleyado mo dahil wala ka sa mood ngayong araw? They made a mistake. There are days I don't tolerate such things. You are just stressing too much dahil darating ang pamilya mo. They don't deserve that, Mr. Sevilla. Tinaasan niya ako ng kilay. Are you arguing with me? No. I am just making a point here. Nawala lang kasi ako sa kanila, sir. Naawa. May kanya kaya tayong pinagdadaanan. I believe that people should be given second chances as long as they learn from their mistakes. Tumawa si Mr. Sevilla at mamalik sa pwesto niya. Bumaba na rin ako ng desk niya at tumupo sa harap nito. What are you now? Their lawyer? May tinatype ito sa laptop niya. If I am, papayagal mo ba akong sabihin sa kanila na pwede pa rin silang pumasok? He looked at me. Only if you did good at acting tomorrow. He said, I sent you an email about my family's background and profile. Study it or even memorize it if you still have time. Para akong binuhusan ng malamig na tubig. Bukas na kaagad ang dating nila? Yes. I and I want you to prepare yourself at 7pm. We will have our dinner there. Something presentable. If you want a makeup artist and hairstylist, let me know. Hindi na kailangan. I can do it myself. Sabi ko sa kanya. Pwede na ba akong bumalik? Kinakabahan kasi ako eh. Gusto ko lang agad yung sila niya sa akin para makapaganda ako agad. Answer my question first. What? You like it? I blushed. May tao bang hindi magugusta na mahalikan siya? Naalala ko pa lang nang hihinan agad ang mga tuhod ko. Paano pa kapag nangyari yun ulit? Oh shit. Stop fantasizing him, Moira. He smirked. Your face says it all. It answered my question. Umira pa ko tumayo na sa kalambas ng office niya. Mukha nagbago na rin kasi ang mood niya. Good then. Wala na sigurong taong madadamay pa. Nasa waiting area pa rin ang mga taong sinasante niya. Ang wala lang iyong babaeng nakasalubong ko. Tanggal ka na rin ba? Tanong pa nila sa akin. No. He asked me to tell you na bigyan kayo ng isa pang pagkakataon. As long as hindi na maulit yung pagkakamali niyo, you're all good. Sabi ko sa kanila. His assistant looked at me irritatingly. She may knew something. I gave her a sweet smile na makakata ako papasok na elevator. Everyone was smiling. That's good na sinabi ko. Napasanda na lang ako sa likuran ng elevator while waiting for it to open on my floor department. So this was it. The start of my acting career. I needed to give my best to this acting 101 or else he would cancel our deal. You can do it, Iris. I know you can. Tiwala lang sa sarili, okay? I was talking to myself almost half an hour. I kept telling me that I did not need to be that nervous. Na-memorize ko na naman ang background information nila at saka nandiyan naman si Mr. Sevilla. Alam ko nga alalayan niya ako kapag hindi ko alam ko anong isasagot sa tinatanong sa akin. Okay na kaya itong suot ko? I was overthinking while checking myself over and over again. I was wearing a white puff dress hanggang sa itasya ng tuhod ko and also wore 3 inches black heels to make it more presentable. 
Nakalugay ang buhok ko para madaling takpan ang mukha ko. Mamaya kapag dinapon ako ng kaba. Paano kung hindi na ako magustuhan? Pag-iisip ko na naman. Baka bigla siyang matras sa usapan namin. No! I shook my head. Kailan ko maging best actress kahit ngayong gabi lang. Someone knocked on my door. I pick up my black purse then run to open it. Bumungad sa akin ang napakagwapong nila lang. He was wearing black jeans and white long sleeve. The sleeves were rolled up to his elbow. Napalunak na lang ako because he was eyeing me seriously. Sir, nahihiyang bati ko. Let's start this night by having a call sign. I prefer love. What do you think? Hindi pa ako nakaka-recover sa itsura at forma niya. Ngayon naman, gilunat ako na dapat may tawagan pa kami. Napalunok muli ako. Yes, I coughed. Love. He chuckled and offered his hand. We have to get used to it, Iris, or else they will notice. Inilagay niya ang kamay ko sa braso niya. His bicep was so hard. Never thought I could be this close to him again after the kissing incident. Namula na naman tuloy ako. Nagulat pa ako ng hawakan niyang kamay ko. Where's your ring? Napahinto kami sa paglalakad. Ah, uh, wait lang, love. Tinaas ko yung kamay ko at tumakbo pabalis sa kwarto. Ang hili ko kasing tanggalin yun lalo na kapag maniligo. Ayoko kasing mabasa at baka mabilis magbukhang luma. I ran toward the bathroom. Ngunit wala rin sa sink. Shit, baka nahulog ko ha. Yari ako. Sinilip ko rin ang ilalim ng kama ko. Wala rin. Oh my God. Ayaw pa man din Mr. Sevilla na tinatanggal ko yun. He cleared his throat. Did you lose it, Moira? He was standing at the door. His mouth slightly smirking. Sir, dito ko lang nilagay yun eh. I tapped my bed. Promise. I opened the drawer once again just to make sure pero wala pa rin. Saan luparap ko pa talaga na nilabag ang mahiwag ng sing-sing na yun? Moira, what did I tell you? He started walking to my direction. Sobrang seryosa ng mukha niya. Mabilis akong kinabahan. Sir, wait a minute. Tinaas ko yung dalawang kamay ko. Give me more time. Makikita ko rin yun. Please? Mas lalo pa siyang humakbang papalapit sa akin. I was walking backward until my back reached the bed. Napaupo ko na natinginawa akong pagtungkol ng kamay ko habang nakatingala sa kanya. I already told you not to remove it, didn't I? He asked seriously. Napalunok ako dahil bigla siyang umupo sa harapan ko. He placed his hands to my both sides. Para ako nahirapan huminga dahil malapit siya sa tuhod ko. Sinasabi mo na nga, sir. Nauutal na sambit ko. Nang dandan siya tumayo at lumalapit sa kinaupuan ko. My back was slowly falling at the bed behind me. Papalapit din ang papalapit yung mukha niya sa akin. Hahalikan niya ba ako ulit? Not that I had a problem with that or I would go for it and give it another try if he would. Should you be punished for it? He asked in a sexy tone. Or I will let it slip. Napapikit pa ako. My mind was already imagining his lips on mine. Mr. Sevilla, I moaned. Then I heard him chuckle. What? I popped my eyes open. Bakit ka tumatawa? Umayos siya ng pesa at umapo sa tabi ko habang nakahiga pa rin ako. Because you're still looking forward for another round of kiss? Yes? He said teasingly. Nagtakip ako ng mukha gamit ang kamay ko. Nakakahiya lang. Kailan pa ba ako naging assuming sa buhay ko? Laging ang mga lalaki nagpa first move sa akin at ganoon. Alam ko kung kailan nila ako gusto halikan. I put down my hands. I'm not. Depends ako. Saka, ahalikan mo naman talaga ako eh. Taas to o sabi ko pat bumangon. Of course not, Moira. I'm just playing around and waiting for your reaction. Should have took a video. He laughed again. My heart fluttered. That is so priceless. If I was not being humiliated in a fun way right now, I would have shrugged it off and enjoyed the moment. Minsan ko lang siya makitang tumatawa. Kadalasan sa trabaho, lagi siya nakasimangot at kinatatakutan ng lahat. Who would have thought na may ganito palang side si Mr. Sevilla? Napangisi ako bigla na may maisipan ako na gawin. What do you think you're doing? I stared down at him na magpahiga siya dahil sa pagpatong ko ng biglaan sa kanya. His face was shocked and his mouth formed an O. Ang sabi mo, mag-practice tayo kung paano haharap sa pamilya mo. Gawain ito na mag-asawa, hindi ba? Painusente yung tanong ko pa. You can't do this just because you want to. You have to ask permission. I made a small grinding move. He stopped moving as I put a spell on him. This was the real priceless moment for me. Isang braid and Alice Sevilla ang napahinto sa ginawa ko? Do I really had a charm towards him? He was stunned for a few seconds then held my waist gently. Ako naman ang napalalisa sa ginawa niya. But if you don't want to go to my parents' house anymore? He traced my waist down to my legs that was on his side. I'm a very persuasive mind, Moira. Tell me what you want so we can compromise.